In just two months, the DCU, the new DCU, kicks off. Will fans be divided? Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're new here, hit subscribe. We're going to talk DCU, the James Gunn, Peter Safran new venture that will set to begin in December. On December 5th with Creature Commandos, New York Comic Con is this weekend. Hopefully lots of cool scoops should be coming up during this weekend. Some cool information about the DCU, Creature Commandos, and more. Maybe even some Superman stuff as well. Speaking of Superman, James Gunn a couple days ago dropped this picture right here of our favorite Kryptonian, Clark Kent. Well, my favorite Kryptonian. Maybe yours is Zod. I don't know. Maybe it's Jor-El. I don't know. You might have a different favorite Kryptonian, but mine is Kal Al. Superman sitting on the moon with his best bud, Crypto. James Gunn said, I, I think immediately that Crypto is going to be in this movie. We have our official confirmation that he is. And here he is, a white dog. Fans, of course, right away were eager to point out that Crypto, you know, is a lab or some other kind of dog. And James Gunn said that there's never been a specific, a specific dog for Crypto. He's just basically been a white dog. And this is what he has in this. And and this is all a touching story about from James Gunn about his dog that he had that he adopted when he started writing Superman. So he kind of wrote this crypto version based on his own dog, which is a great story and awesome. And I totally, as a pet owner, you know, you totally understand that, of course. But when I saw this picture, I didn't think too, too much of it. I was like, oh, that's a cool picture. Why not? <laughs> like, it looks like crypto. It looks like crypto and Superman sitting on the moon looking over it. Maybe they're going for a dog walk around an asteroid belt a la all-star Superman, which you know James Gunn is going to pick from a bunch of different comic iterations of Superman and put into it. I think All-Star Superman was one of the big ones, though, that he was being inspired to use to write Superman. Don't say legacy. So I'm really curious to see if we're going to get a scene like that in the movie. I would suspect that we do, and I would also suspect that it's going to be one of those moments. It's going to be one of those theatrical moments, like a moment you're going to want to see in the theater that we're going to remember for years and years to come. Like first flight from Man of Steel, I have this feeling that the flight was crypto in an asteroid belt. If it exists, it's going to be something Something along those lines. But I wasn't expecting, anyway, back to the story. I wasn't expecting the fan reaction and backlash that there was to this picture of Superman innocently sitting on the moon with crypto. Fans didn't seem all that excited about it. And it got me thinking after the debacle with the old DCEU and what happened there, and the movies like they have been tanking, right? I think Aquaman 2 did okay, but for the most part, the DCEU films haven't fared very well. Wonder Woman was obviously a big hit. Man of Steel was a moderate success. Batman v Superman, obviously a disappointment for the studio. Suicide Squad released the air cut. You know what's happening there. The Justice League, you had the Whedon cut, then you had the Snyder cut and fans. And then obviously they pushed Snyder out and they did what they did. You know, the Shazam movie part two bombed. Obviously the first one did okay, but the second one just nobody wanted to go see it. It was like the Joker Folia do effect. Although that was worse financially. So people are like, so the DC universe of movies without Gunn and Saffron was already in disarray. But now Gunn comes in and he's like the savior. He's like, I know what we got to do to fix it. We got to bring it all back. And he's going to do the Superman movie. He recat, he gets rid of Henry Cavill, brings in David Cornsweet. He says, he says he didn't fire Henry Cavill. He just didn't hire him. So, uh, Take that out. You, uh, that just sounds like corporate mumbo jumbo. So how are fans going to react to this new Superman? I think fa- like the diehard Snyderverse fans are obviously not going to take to this thing very kindly. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. The only thing they can do with this movie is make a good movie. But now you've included crypto and a lot of people are very skeptical about the inclusion of a super powered dog. Clearly the dog's going to have super power. James Gunn confirm that but he's not going to speak he's going to say bark bark. unless you consider bark bark speaking crypto will not have any dialogue in the film which i don't think is a bad thing i think that's pretty good because people are going to complain and probably compare it to disney movies and what do people want i think the problem with superhero movies right now is people don't know what they, they want good movies but i don't think anyone really knows what a good movie is or what makes a good movie and the studios are trying to figure out what fans want fans are trying to figure out what they want i think so they're gonna have to meet somewhere in the middle i'm guessing For me, though, I think the Superman movie is going to be very, very good. I think it has to be very, very good. James Gunn has to put everything he has into this movie, not because of Superman, not because of the movie, but because of the future of the DCU. People are tired of these 
typical superheroes. We've had so many Supermen, so many Batman. People are getting exhausted of the same superheroes coming to the screen. They're going to see them, but you're noticing the box office, like I said, they're dwindling. People aren't as excited for them. And you're giving us another Superman so shortly, so soon after Henry Cavill. Like, like we just had the Snyder Cut like two years ago, and you're going to bring in a new Superman. Is there time for people to di- to digest what they had and accept a new course of Superman? That all remains to be seen. So I think there is going to be some fan divide. I think the tone is going to be. I mean, he's look. If you look at the picture, he's going for vi- bright and vibrant. Even the one that he did in the summer when they were shooting was bright and vibrant. He's trying to show a different tone, a different atmosphere for his Superman to really, really separate it from what we had before. Maybe even. I mean, I, I don't think you have to separate it too much from Christopher Reeve's Superman because that's so long, long in the past. But you have to separate it from Henry Cavill. I think he's doing that but he has to do it in a way that's going to generate buzz and create a lot of excitement i think this picture for me it did it i've noticed online it looks like a lot of people like it but then again the backlash is coming and i see it kind of slowly cripple in and it's almost like the more people like it the more the louder the people who don't like it have to be right when somebody likes this like how can you like it it's terrible it's goofy this is not a disney movie it's superman we don't know what's going to happen but we've seen guy gardner we've seen we've seen hot girl uh, and they don't you know, their costumes weren't exactly r- realistic. You know, they were they were out there. They're incorporating some aspects of things. The authority is coming in, obviously. There's stuff going on. Lex Luthor, there's a lot to play here. I'm really curious what he's going to do in this sandbox, how he's going to make it all work, how he's going to fit it all together in one coherent story. That's going to expand into other ones because he also said you don't have to watch this one to understand the next one because I think he understands that a lot of people, a lot of viewers out there are getting tired of the homework uh, ID label that's been labeled on all of these shows that interconnect to movies. You have to watch the show to watch the movie, to watch the comic book, to read the book, to read. But he's going to connect it all, but he's going to make them very separate. I'm really curious how he's going to do that, how he's going to manipulate that in a way that we can go into Superman and not feel like, oh, well, this was just a setup for the next one. How like it's going to have a beginning, middle, and end, or is it going to lead into a second Superman? We know Supergirl's coming. Does this lead into Supergirl? I think Crypto's going to have a huge part into Supergirl. We'll talk about that in another video. But I think I think you know, unfortunately, I think a fan divide is on its way. It's almost inevitable at this point in time and in the in the atmosphere of social media fandom if you look at everything like joker Fulia duck comes out and you know it, I, I did a couple reviews on it you can check out but like they're like the movie was okay like you know but it, it didn't it wasn't as good as the first one and it wasn't the joker obviously and people just like freak out over it. like uh, to like it's to a point that you know you got to settle down it's just a movie it's it's not actually going to hurt you and I think we have to realize that and reel it in a little bit and say, you know what? That one wasn't for me. That one wasn't for me. Maybe the next one will be, but this was not for me. But the Superman thing, I think, you know, leading into it. One thing I will say, though, is I really hope that James Gunn doesn't come out and interact with fans and attack fans. That is when creators do that. I really it's like, you know, have some PR. Don't do that. Respect the fans. Give them a respectful answer. Now, that being said, on the flip side. I don't think fans should also degrade and and shout and yell at creatives for things that they have, may or may not have done. Like if you're talking about something that hasn't even been established yet, what are you doing? So I think I think you need to settle down and not and 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 just take this movie as a grand salt. We're going to see the trailer in I think December is the rumor of this trailer. Let's take a look at that. See how that goes. If that thing flies, no pun intended. If that thing flies, we're in. You know, smooth ride until July, and then that movie will have to speak for itself. But what do you guys think? Is the DCU on a direct collision course path to fan division? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all of your time. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.